Right folks, how are we all? Uh, today is the 11th of July 2024 and the other week, the other month or whenever it was, <coughs> Uh, there was a headline out that the Capri, the Ford Capri, uh, was making a comeback. Ford were going to bring it back. And I thought, oh, yeah, that's, uh, you know, yeah, I like that. So, a bit of the history of the Capri. Uh, it was, right, hold on, I've got it here. Uh, the Ford Capri Mark 1, 69 to 74, um, was introduced in 19 in January 1969 at the Brussels Motor Show, with sales starting to follow th a month uh, later. The intention was to reproduce in Europe the successful four the success Ford had with the North American Mustang, uh, and to produce it in Europe. Right, very good. Nothing wrong with the Mustang. Sounds great. Fucking goes well. Shit, bloody fuel consumption and everything like that. Uh, it was built in Europe at the Dagenham and Dagenham and Halewood plants in the UK. Can we have a UK? Thank you very much. Uh, the car was named Colt. Sounds shit, to be fair. Uh, during development stage, but Ford were unable to use the name as it was a trademark by Mitsubishi. Now, um, so, the Capri came along. And the uh, advertising slogan was, the car you always promised yourself. It was a little bit of a poor man's Aston Martin, that kind of thing. Um, and men bought it. Men bought it in the fucking bucket loads. Um, men would, men, yeah, men, right? That's them with the cock and balls, yeah? Um, they would go out in the car, on the pool, married or not married, that was it. The car was a pulling point. And now Ford bringing it back. Well, the, the, they've brought the name back, haven't they? They've brought the name back. Um, the, uh, there was an advertisement on... I saw some advertisement and it says, uh, bringing back the legend. Um, it, Ford sold one... Right, I've got some notes here. Ford might sold 1.9 million Caprice. So it was a fucking good car. It was a seller. It was what... You know, everybody really, the, your normal working class man, yeah, it's what they wanted at the time. Um, there was an ad with Martin Shaw in it, the professionals used it, Dennis Waterman in Minder used it. It was a brilliant fucking product placement. In today's, if it was a James Bond thing, everybody would be wanting to put the car there. They'd be, you know, paying for them to use it. Um, Del Boy had a Ford Capri gear, didn't he? Yeah, the Capri gear, Rodney. Um, four of my mates had one. Um, my mate, the late, great Mark Cleaver, um, who I used to go clubbing with, um, he had a three-litre silver one, and he had a phone put in it. Um, twin exhaust, shitty fuel consumption, roared. Um, I had a van. Um, the Capri ended in 1986, and to be fair... It had probably run its course. Um, I would have liked to have seen it go to the 1990s. Just to get, you know, that, that decades in. It seems to have died out with the thing. I've got a little... There you go. That looks a little bit like a DeLorean, to be fair. But there it is. Notice the long bonnet. Well, anyway, Ford have a new Capri. It's a fucking SUV. A sports fucking utility vehicle. I, I just don't understand the mentality of Ford. They're bringing back a legend. It was a sports car. It was a young man's car. It was a fucking fun to drive it was everything that one need of a young person wanted they've turned it into a fucking suv and i don't know if suvs go off road or or can have the ability but capris don't do that kind of shit the only time you've seen a capri right it was in a 
off road was in a ditch on a fucking bend upside down or fucking wrapped round a lamppost. They don't want, you're taking the fun out of everything. Everything's going. There was a new post on Twitter, a new advert. Uh, I've seen it and it shows Eric Cantona, right? Reversing up a Capri, trying to charge an old Capri with an electric fucking cable. Yeah. And then he's like, he, then he realised, and then as the car drives off, it says the legend is back. Really, Eric should have gone, oh, ho, 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 ho. where is the fuel pipe? Where is the petrol kip? I am not driving this shit. This is not a car. This is a fucking dodgem. It is a fucking milk float. Yeah? You know fucking Eric Cantona did that two footed tackle into that fucking lad in the bloody Crystal Palace game. That's what he should have done to this. He should have just stepped back and just put his feet through the fucking window. It, it's, it's just fucking shit. I'll put the picture up. Right, this is it. This is, that's the picture of the car now. Yeah, I'll try and put it up in the video as well so you can have a, a look at it there. It doesn't look anything like a fucking Capri. There is nothing about that. People saying, oh, it's got the headlights. It's got, they've got the twin headlights. No, it hasn't. It hasn't got the fucking twin headlights. They're just two little bits of fucking... It doesn't look like a fucking Capri. It looks absolutely shit. And I've watched the ad on YouTube as well um, for this. And they're just using buzzwords like uh, reinterpreted and what else they put? Uh, precious, precious name and fan base and redesigned icon. The, the people who, I watched the video, and the people who are working on it look fucking clueless. They just, they just look fucking pathetic. They look like they've never drove a fucking sports car. They look like they've never had the fun in a car. They're all safe and namby-pamby and want to wrap you up in cotton wool. They, they, they suck the life out of fucking everything. It's just shit. And now some of you will say, some of you will say, oh, oh you, 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 you'll be, you, you're stuck in the past, you don't like change. No, I do like change, I don't mind change when it's for the good. This isn't for the good. All they've done here is just fucking come and, and took the name and just slapped it on a fucking car that a fucking, any kid out of sodding school or college or whatever could have designed. There's no individuality. When they've brought other cars back, the Mini's come back. I've got two of them sitting in the fucking drive, yeah? They look modern. I like the new Mini, and I like the old Mini. And what they've done, they've just fucking souped it up a bit for today's market. It's the same with the Fiat 500. I'm not a fan of the Fiat 500. I, I never liked my, my sister had one, and it fucking set on fire, sat outside my granny's. But I'm, I'm not a fan of the Fiat 500, but it looks like it's kept some of its DNA from the past. The same with the Volkswagen Beetle. It's, they've saved it and just brought it into today. And they've kept the same fucking thing on it. There's a new Volkswagen van looking out. A transporter thing like the old camper van. They've put the bonnet on it. I don't fucking like it. It looks fucking shit to me. It looks fucking stupid. But the, the connection is with, there is a Volkswagen Capri connection with this. Volkswagen Ford have worked together and it's fucking shit. I just don't like it. I just don't, they, they've actually just come in and you know, like I said, people will say, oh, you're stuck in the past. No, I'm not stuck in the past and I don't mind change. But when change is for the better and the Mini, when it came back, was a change for the better. When the Fiat 500 came back, it was a change for the better. When the Beetle came back, it was a fucking change for the 500, uh, for the for the better. In today's fucking competition of well, uh, in the competition of the car market, you need something eye-catching. You need something that all people will think, oh fucking hell, yeah, I won't mind one of them. And Ford have just fucking pissed it up the wall. They're fucking absolutely different. What they've made there is no different to a fucking Kia, uh, a Vauxhall, fucking whatever. They're, they're all the fucking same. They've already got the Ford have already got the um, what's that fucking thing they've got? Oh. 
that looks like a 4 b but they've already got something that covers this market. They haven't got anything that... All right, they've got the Mondeo and they've got the Focus, yeah? So, fair enough. But if you wanted a little bit of a sports car, there it is. They've totally fucked it up. They've totally, totally fucked it up. The original Mustang, uh, the original Cabri was built on the Mustang. The, they've fucked the Mustang up as well, I think. It doesn't look anything. It's all fucking shitty, bloody, stupid. Just give us a car that fucking roars. Yeah? A, a Capri should be... A Capri, right, should be long, sleek, sporty. That turns heads. This won't turn heads. This will just make people want to go, what the fuck's that? Blech. It looks shit. Ford, I hope you watch my video. I hope you watch it. it it's got a... You, can you remember the Homer Simpson, the Simpsons video? Uh, when he was with Danny DeVito. And um, Danny DeVito, with the long lost brothers or something. And some kind of relations. And he let Homer design the car. That's what this is. This is, this is the equivalent of the Homer Simpson car. It looks shit. Now, if you'd have stuck another name on it. If you'd have called this the, uh, the Ford Starmer... And you didn't want it to have any personality, individuality, boring, droning, fucking blah de blah Then yeah, you'd have done that. But you've gone and stuck a Capri name on it. You've, you've insulted the, the Capri car from back in the day. It's a fucking downright disgrace. The, the, back in the day, right, this is it. Back in the day, young lads um, had posters on the walls. Yeah, they had posters on the walls. <coughs> They either had that bird scratching her ass, the tennis player, lifting her skirt up, yeah. Uh, they probably had Debbie Harry, um, Bo Derrick, um, odd footballer, and cars. Now, some had Ferraris. I'd, I've never been a fan of Ferraris. I've never been a fan of the fucking Lamborghinis. I just don't see the fucking point in them. Um, it's not for me. But lads had Capris on the wall. I, I had four little pictures, like A4 size... Um, of Capri's and I had them on the wall because I did actually want a Capri but then you you, you move on don't you I ended, I ended up with other cars but this just doesn't want to be on I mean I don't even know if people put fucking posters on the walls anymore I ain't got a fucking clue but I would thought even Ford don't want this on the wall in the showroom Ford will sell fuck all of these that they will it, what, you, what, you, what you've aimed for what you should have aimed for right is people who are in their 40s whose dad had a Capri and then they can carry that memory on. You know, I want, oh, when you talk to me about a Capri, I want a car that's fucking two mile long, shit in the rain, the back end flips out, a bonnet that goes on for miles that you can't see what you're parking into. I want a two door. I want two doors and I want to make it practically impossible to get in the fucking back. Yeah, I want twin headlights, yeah, and then I want to put a couple of fucking headlights in the middle of them, yeah, and then I want to put two big fucking square fog lights underneath. I want a three litre that's fucking shit consumption, but when you put your foot down, it roars at the fucking public. Yeah, that's what I want. The reason I want that back is because it was fucking better back them days. Yeah, you didn't have all these fucking eco warriors, you know, these, these fucking twats who are walking around now, they don't know what it's like to have drove a Capri. I mean, I had an XR2, my dad had an XR3, I've had a, I've had a Solita 2, a Solita, Sierra 2 litre gear, yeah. Um, Gabby used to have a Peugeot 205 that used to shit, uh, show, um, shit off a blanket, yeah. I've had a fucking Opal Manta. Yeah, which is a little bit like a Capri, but it weren't. It weren't that good. Fucking that. I'm fucking never have that again. But it did shift. My mate Nicky had a fucking Renault Five Turbo. They, they're cars that they're cars that gave you fun. None of these fucking things now. Well, there is a few out there, isn't there? But none of these cars that are made by these companies now are fucking fun. I want a car with attitude, and it's not something that goes around virtue singing. Hey, I'm saving the fucking planet. I've got an EV. Fuck off. Fuck off. Go and tell that to the little kids in the fucking mines digging out the shit to put in your electric battery. You're saving the world, but you're killing fucking kids. 
Second hand capris, right, I did a bit of a research here. Second hand capris are fetching a fortune, right? I, I've had a look on the internet. A 2.8 is fetching, is going for £56,000. A fucking two litre laser, somebody's asking for 38k. Another one's going for 12k. So they're even, you know, the, the old ones are, are still going for a fucking, more than they pay for them. I think the original fucking Capri were about 900 quid. Yeah? And in 20 years' time, right, when all these all these Capris, they'll still be there, they'll be still be worth a fortune. This Capri that they've thrown at us, that they've mixed together by it with Homer Simpson as the fucking head designer, they won't be worth fuck all. They won't be worth fuck all. The batteries will be shot, everything. It'll all it'll just sort of end up in landfill with all the fucking windmills that they're putting up, all the turbines are putting up. Yeah. The th they, they think they can fool the public. They really, really do think they can fool the public. They, they, they've, they've just used the name, recycled the name, um, and they'll think people will do it. They, you see, there's another saying, isn't there? There's a saying that says, no publicity is uh, bad publicity. Or, bad, you know, bad publicity is not... Whatever, you know what I mean? But it's wrong. People aren't fucking falling for it now. We're not being told what to do. Not The legend is back. It fucking ain't. The legend's not back. What you've done is you've gone and got the fucking grave of the Capri and you've done a big fucking shit on it. Ford, you have totally fucked up. You, you're losing a fortune now on your EV things and now you're going to lose even more money on this. Fucking joke. So they say like no publicity is bad publicity or whatever it is. Bud Light had some good publicity, didn't they, with Dylan Mulvaney and look where that got him. Ford, you should have gone fuck off to all these fucking idiots who are pushing for fucking net zero and said, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to make a fucking two and a half litre or a three litre Ford Capri. And I'll tell you what they should have done. They should have made it look like that fucker. But no. They fucking thought better. You see, that's what the problem is. They've thought. Instead of getting people to come in, like myself, yeah, and that, and other fucking car experts. I'm not a car expert. I was just, I'm just a normal fucking bloke in the street. But that's who, they're aiming the market at me. They're aiming the market at me and you, yeah, to buy this. And I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm having a fucking pickup truck. I'm going to get a fucking Ford pickup truck. And it won't be electric and it won't be fucking, it's going to be a 3.2 big fuck off roaring machine. Bit like I roar. So it just seems that Ford have lost the way. The, they got, getting rid of the Fiesta wasn't the brightest of moves either. Like, I don't think that was the fucking cleverest of moves to getting rid of that. They should have kept that and just, you know, you know, so, I mean... <laughs> Some people are saying boycott Ford. Says, There's no need to boycott Ford over this because people just won't buy it. It's fucking shit. Ford have fucked up with this. The sales are down already on their EVs. Um, they're costing them a fortune on everything they do. Um, and this is just going to continue. Ford just got... You hark back to the days. I mean, people always be saying things. Calm down, Dave. And I'm not. I'm not angry. Or I'm. I'm disappointed more than angry. Um, it just. You know. The Capri was a fucking iconic car, and it's what. You know, blokes stride to. You know, they, they wanted a Capri. They were. It was the dream to own a Capri. You know, and people had Capris, and like I've said, they wrapped them around fucking lampposts, they put them in ditches and everything, didn't they? You know, you'd, you'd get up in the morning, we used to go to football on a Sunday morning, and you'd quite often see one in a fucking ditch or something, because they've lost it on a bend. But the, the Ford have just totally, totally fucking... I, I can't believe... Right, I can understand Disney and all these other things going woke. But why with this? Just make a fucking car. At least make it fucking hybrid so people can do, you know. They've just like totally lost the plot. And 
I'd love to know who actually gave this the go ahead. Because if I were Ford now, I'd be saying, what the fuck have you done here? We're losing money left, right and centre on electric cars. But you see, this is what's happening. This is what's happening. All this fucking green shit is pushing these cars companies to go green. And nobody wants them. Yeah, you all go out there and you fucking... Oh, I've got a fucking green car. I've, I'm fucking saving... No, you're not. You're not saving the planet. You're destroying the fucking car industry. I don't honestly... Just stop buying fucking cars with the batteries, yeah? Stop it. Go and buy a fucking car. Go and... Do you know what? One day I'm going to go into a, shop, into a car place and say, I want a car that's got an engine in it. And well, we don't do them. So, well, fuck you then. Fuck you. I don't want a car that can drive so far, then I've got to charge it up for fucking half hour. I want a car where I go into a garage, fill it up in five minutes and fuck off. I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm in my mid-50s now. I won't be buying many more cars because when I buy a car, I buy it for about five or eight years. And because I'm doing even less mileage now, I won't even need to buy another fuck. I'll probably 10, 10 years before I buy another car. So I honestly don't give a fuck. But what I do give a fuck about is that these people come in here and they fucking hijack our history, our DNA, and change it and say it's what we need, it's for the good. It isn't. It isn't. You fucking fucked it up. And I'm laughing at you, Ford, for doing this because this is going to cost you a fucking fortune, you thick fucking idiots. <sighs> Better now I've got that off my chest.